Hey everyone, Jordan Selfita here. So this is a thought that creeps in my mind a lot. And it all goes back to a conversation that I had in high school when a friend of mine said that her favorite band was a band that at the time only had one, one album, one album of material. And at the time I said that um, I thought it was impossible that a favorite band could be a band that has so little material. Um, and while I've gotten older and I'm not as harsh uh, music critic as I was in high school, I still come back to that thought from time to time. And I think the reason I said that was because um, bands grow and develop and things change and they adapt new styles, or maybe they don't. Maybe if they're like a cannibal corpse or something, you know exactly what to expect and you get that. But for the most part, you look at a band like uh, my favorite bands, Pink Floyd, The Cure, and how much their discographies as a whole um, transcend so many different barriers and genres and how The Cure and the Pink Floyd of, of the early years are definitely not the same band of the later years. And that's why I'm always interested in bands who have big discographies to see where they go, what they did, what what were their aspirations, hopes, and dreams within themselves. And I think that shows um, a lot of their fan base as well. I feel like if you're on board with that journey, um, you're willing to get a lot out of it. You're, you're along for the ride versus um, if they have like one album or so, uh, you haven't had the time to develop like that. You, you like that album for what it is, but you haven't really gone through the good and the bad with the your favorite band. And maybe for some people, they're lucky enough that they never will and they never will have to. But um, for me, I, I often wonder with myself when I think of my favorite bands, like I said, the Pink, Pink Floyd and Cure, um, and especially like Steven Wilson and his disc discography across so many different bands and projects. Um, but then when I think of other bands and I think of them as my favorite, um, I, th I wonder, you know, I think of... Jeff Buckley created one of my favorite albums of all time. That album is Flawless. Slint created one of my favorite albums of all time, and that album is Flawless. But those bands, like, Slint had one album before Spider-Land. Jeff Buckley had uh, a compilation of songs after he died. But really, with those bands, it's one album or so. So I think when I'm thinking of favorite bands, like, do they have enough disco discography? Is there enough material for me to start saying those kinds of things? Um, I thought about it recently with uh, Godspeed You, Black Emperor, who has a good amount of albums, but uh, their songs are so long. It's like they don't have a good amount of songs in that discography. And so that one's an interesting one. But uh, anyway, the whole point of this video is what are some of your favorite bands that have small discographies? Um, and do you feel all right in saying that they're your favorite because maybe that small discography just means so much to you or, um, like I think of Lauren Hill who solo made one phenomenal album and then you'd have to go to the Fuji's to get more material cause that's the only album she did. Um, but yeah, do you ever think that maybe your favorite band might not have enough material for you to justify as being one of your favorites or does that thought not cross your mind um say it below in the comments and say who your favorite band is